Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on printing tables in SPSS on one page. So oftentimes in counseling research, particularly when working with large data sets, when we run various analyses, we end up with these large tables that will not fit by default on one sheet of paper. SPSS keeps the font size constant and uses however many pages are necessary to display the tables, to print out the tables. So for smaller tables, this isn't a problem because they fit on the page in terms of width and in terms of length. However, for larger tables, it can become unwieldy to have, say, six or ten pages for one table and then having to take all those sheets of paper and lay them on a table and assemble the pages to reconstruct the table so that you can find the area of interest or areas of interest in that table. So I have here in SPSS a fictitious data set. I have 45 items and 50 records and each cell contains a value between 1 and 5. So this is the type of data one might collect using a Likert scale survey. And to demonstrate how to fit large tables onto one sheet of paper for printing, I'm going to run a factor analysis. Now if you're interested in factor analysis, I have separate videos that cover that. I'm really just using that particular statistical process here because it generates large tables. So I'm going to move up to Analyze and Dimension Reduction and Factor and I'm going to hit Control A to select all of the 45 items and then move them over to the Variables list box. Under Descriptives, I'm just going to check off all the descriptives that are available here in this dialog. And under Rotation, I'm going to switch to Verimax. Under Scores, Display Factor Score, Coefficient Matrix. And under Options, I'm going to sort by Size under Coefficient Display Format. And then click OK. And you can see first we have Descriptive Statistics here in the Output Viewer. And you see this is a fairly long table. It has all 45 items and the mean standard deviation and the n for each of the items. And then moving down to the next table, see this is correlation matrix. You have the 45 items uh, vertically and then the 45 items horizontally and the correlations. And you can see this is a wide table and it's also a long table. So let's take a look at how this would print. If we go to File and Print Preview, you can see we maneuver through this with the Next Page, Previous Page buttons. So you can see for page 2, this stops at item 38. And on the next page, you have the remainder of that table. And then the correlation matrix starts about a quarter away down the page. It gets to item 29 and item 6 here. And as you move through, you have all the other sections of the correlation matrix. So you can see here we have up to item 45 but still only down to item 29. And the next page it picks up at item 30. And then again here, item 1, 2, and 3 across the top. And again, we can move across many pages and we see this is a very large table. And it prints out across many pages. So I'm going to close this and go back to the output viewer, the statistics viewer. And let's take a look at how we can print 
this first table on one page. So first we're going to go to the table and double click it and it's going to bring up this new dialog just for the table and under format I want to change the table properties and you can see there are several options here in the tabs general notes cell formats borders and printing I want printing and in this case I want to rescale a long table to fit the page and click apply and then OK and then I'm going to close this dialog and go back to the print preview and you can see that all 45 items now fit on one page so this is a situation where it makes sense to fit the table onto one page this makes it more practical to work with the table and it's not the font itself is not so small that it cannot be read and you can zoom in from this view and you can see of course that all the information is still there it's just been compressed so I close this I'm going to move to the correlation matrix now this table is of course much larger so I double click this and again it brings up this window specifically for this table now format go to table properties and on printing I'm going to rescale wide table to fit page and rescale long table to fit page I'm going to show you what happens here so click apply and OK and I'm going to close this and then go to the print preview and of course you can see it does fit the entire table onto one page but the font is very small this, is, this would be remarkably difficult to read in its printed form so with the table this large we really have to find another way to print it uh, you're going to have to use multiple pages but you don't, don't necessarily have to use the multiple pages in the format that SPSS has by default. For example, here you can see that there's a lot of space below this table that's not used. So we go back into the edit mode for this table, double click on the table. And again, I'll resize this so we can see it. We could format this table so that it's rescaled in terms of the length but not in terms of the width and click apply OK and then close this and then move back and take a look at, print, at a print preview here and again this font is small but it is using the entire length of the page and as you go to the next page you have the other I'll zoom this in you have the other items uh, horizontally that are displayed. So this goes from 19 to 36 and then the next page 37 to 45. So if you're arranging this on a table you just have to arrange these side by side to have this whole correlation matrix displayed. However, again zooming out and moving back to the first page you can see the font is very small still so I'll close this so for some tables like this large correlation matrix it may not be practical to try to compress this so that it prints onto one page but for a table like this that is still legible when it's reduced so they'll fit onto one page it does seem to be a practical configuration. If we were to move down the output for this factor analysis and find the component matrix, you can see that this table is smaller than the correlation matrix. But if I take a look at the print preview, 
it still prints over several pages. To be specific, it prints over four pages. So if I were to go into this table, again double clicking the table, and formatting table properties, and rescale this. So I'm going to rescale wide table to fit page and rescale long table to fit page. Click apply. OK. And then close this. And go back here to the print preview. We can see the font is quite small. If I zoom in, you can see all the information is there. Because this is still difficult to read in its current format, there are a few other settings we may want to change. Go to Page Setup, and we can try changing the orientation from Portrait to Landscape. But what will probably have a more significant impact is changing the margins. Now, I just put these default to 1. I just put 0 in for each one, and SPSS will automatically set it to what's possible. Right? So left, I put 0, changes it to 0 0.2. Right, I'll put in 0, it changes that to 0.2 top that gets changed to 0.165 and bottom will get changed to 0.205 so I click OK and now again this is still fairly small but it's a lot easier to read than it was without making the changes to those settings I hope you found this video on formatting SPSS to print tables on one page to be helpful as always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.